This is Intermediate Rudiments Figuring Out Interval Question. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at the key signature because I see there are sharps here and make a note that this is all in the bass clef. So if I have any F's or C's in this line, I'm going to write the sharps in already so I don't forget. So I see an F sharp here. Oh, here's a C. This is a tricky one because it's lower. C sharp here. Another C sharp here. And that's it. So if I just write them in already, then I won't forget that the key signature affects them. So first I'm going to figure out that this is a fifth. One, two, three, four, five. That's the easy part. Now, is it major, minor, perfect, augmented, diminished? Now, fifths I know can only be perfect, augmented, or diminished. So perfect is a, light, a lot like major. I'm going to look at the bottom note. My bottom note's a B. So in the B major scale, is F normally sharp? Well, I know that B major has five sharps, so F normally would be sharp, so this is either major or perfect. So because the fifths can only be perfect, <coughs> not major or minor, this is a perfect fifth. Then I go to my next question. So I have C sharp to B sharp. So in the C sharp major scale, there's a lot of sharps. So sometimes to make it easier, you can imagine that it's just C natural and then just remove all the accidentals. So if I just think about them like this, C natural to B. So in C major scale, C to B is normally major because B is normally a B in C major scale. There's no sharps or flats there. So I know C to B would be a major seventh. So if I add a sharp to both of them, it's still going to be major because I've raised the front, the bottom and I've raised the top. If they had both a flat, it would still be major. If they both had double sharps or double flats, it would still be major because you're doing the same thing to the bottom note and the top note. So C sharp to G sharp, sorry, C sharp to B sharp, this is bass clef, is major seventh. I could also think of it in C sharp major, which has all the sharps, so then I know that B would normally be sharp in C sharp major, so that also confirms that this is a major seventh. The next one, D sharp to A. So D sharp major is another difficult key to work with, so I'm going to pretend that it's just D major to make it easier to think about. So D major scale normally only has F sharp and C sharp, so the A would normally be a natural, so D to A without any sharps would be a perfect fifth. But now, so five, I can write my five there. If I raise the bottom note, so if I have my two notes and I'm raising the bottom one, I'm making it smaller, so this fifth becomes diminished. So D to A is normally a perfect fifth, but I'm adding the sharp on the bottom, making it smaller. Now it's a diminished fifth. The next one, E to C sharp. So in E major scale, there's four sharps, F, C, G, D. So C is normally sharp in E major scale. So this is a major or perfect. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a six, so it's major six because only four, five, and octaves can be perfect. Then we have G to A flat. So in the G major scale, I know there's only an F sharp. So in G major, A is normally supposed to be natural. So if I make it flat, G to A flat would be a minor second. Now to invert these, I have a perfect fifth up here. So I'm going to put my top note on the bottom and my bottom note on the top. So my F sharp will be, I'll make my F sharp down here. So I have F sharp here, and I don't need to write the sharps in, that was just for my own information, so do not write the sharps in here, the ones you wrote there, because they will be taken care of by the key signature. So as a matter of fact, even after doing this top part of the question, I could go back and erase the sharps that I wrote in, so I don't copy them on the answer below. Because now I've already got these and double checked them. So F on the bottom, B is going to be on the top. That becomes a fourth. 
and I already know this is going to be perfect but I want to double check it to make sure I did the first one correct so F sharp to B um, F sharp major has a difficult key signature so I'm going to think of it in F major F major to B flat would be perfect so if I raise the flat to B natural and raise the F to F sharp it's still going to be perfect so that one's good now my next interval I'm going to put the C sharp here and then put my um, put the B sorry put the B sharp on the bottom C sharp on the top so actually B sharp is going to be before it B sharp then C put my sharp there on the B now I can remember this is C sharp from the key signature B sharp to C sharp well B sharp is not a very convenient key signature for me so I'm going to think of it as B to C and that would normally be minor because C is supposed to be sharp in a B major scale so B sharp to C sharp is also going to be minor and I can double check major becomes minor minor becomes major and these two numbers should add up to 9 7 plus 2 is 9 the next one I'm going to flip so I need my A to be on the bottom and my D sharp to be on the top so this is a fourth now and the answer should be augmented but I can double check so A to D in A major scale D is normally natural because there's only F sharp, C sharp, G sharp so if I have A to D sharp the D is raising so it's getting making the interval bigger this is going to be augmented fourth. On the next one, I'm going to make my C sharp the bottom. And then my E is going on the top. So now I have a third. So C is sharp from the key signature. So C sharp to E. Well, if C sharp major is difficult to work with, I can think of it as C to E would be major so if I'm raising the bottom note so I have C to E is major make the bottom note sharp C sharp to E is minor third and you can even write like write the notes here if you need to you could think C to E is minor so C sharp to E or sorry C to E is major so C sharp to E is minor anytime you need to write little notes like that you can and then you can always erase them after if they're crowding your work. Then A flat, so A flat's going to be the bottom and then G's going to be the top. So now I have a seventh, seven plus two is nine, that works out. So A flat to G, A flat major usually has B, E, A, D for flat, so this would normally be natural in an A flat major scale, so that makes this major and it works my major and minor reverse and that's exactly what I want so now what if I have a question where you have to you're given the interval but you have to write the note you have to draw the note so same thing happens here I need a major sixth above this so I'm going to count six one two three four five six so F sharp to D. Now F sharp is tricky for me to work with because there's so many sharps. So I'm going to think of it as F major because I know that's just B flat. Super easy. So if this were just F to D, this would be a major sixth because D is normally natural in F major scale. But because it's F sharp, so I'm raising the bottom note, I need to raise the top note to keep this major. So it's going to be D sharp up here. So on my side note somewhere, I could write... F to D is major, so I know F sharp to D sharp is major. And you can also use your scrap paper to write on, so you're not crowding your work here. So I've figured that out. Oh, I can erase this. That's why it's probably better to use your scrap paper. Um, augmented second. So this question, you could do them all across and then all the bottom ones, or you can kind of work on them up and down like this while you're working on the same question. So here I had uh, my F sharp to D sharp. So this one I'm going to invert it. So D sharp is going to be the bottom. 
and then F sharp on the top. So my sharps are a little crowded there, so I can move one over to the side. Now I have a third, and that works. 6 plus 3 is 9, and major should become minor, so this is supposed to be minor. So I can check it. Um, if I take these sharps away, because it's difficult to work with sharp key signatures, D major scale normally has F sharp, so D to F would be minor. So if I raise them both with sharps, it'll still be minor. Or I can think of it like this. D to F sharp is major, but now I've raised the lower one, I'm making it smaller, now it's minor. <clears throat> now this augmented second. So I draw my second. Now B flat major has B flat, E flat. So B flat to C would normally be major, so I need to make it bigger to make it augmented. So to make this bigger, I need to raise the top note. So I'm going to add my sharp there. So now this is augmented. When I flip it, my C sharp will be on the bottom. My B flat will be on the top. So C sharp to B flat, this is a seventh. And it should be diminished because augmented and diminished flip, but I'm going to double check. So C, sharp, C to B is major, normally major. So C sharp to B would be minor because I'm making it one smaller. Which means if I make it smaller again, then I have diminished. So C to B was major. That's norm like B is normally natural in a C major scale. If I add the C sharp, I'm making it one smaller, so that makes it minor. But if I add the B flat, that makes it one smaller again, so that becomes diminished. Perfect fifth. E to B is a fifth. Now to make this perfect in E flat major scale, I have B flat, E flat, A flat. So to make this perfect, this B needs to be flat because B is normally flat in the E flat major scale. Now we flip it. We have B flat, E flat. Now it becomes a fourth. And perfect is supposed to say perfect, but I can double check it. In B flat major scale, I have B flat, E flat, so E is normally flat, so this is in fact a perfect fourth. Now minor third here, so D to F. So D major scale normally has F sharp, C sharp, so to make this major I would need an F sharp there, but I need it minor, so D to F is minor, so that's good just the way it is. Then we F on the bottom, D on the top. This becomes a 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. Now this should be major, but let's check it. In F major scale, there's only a B flat, so D would normally be natural. So this is um, major scale, or major 6th. Now the diminished 7th. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So C to G, in, or not C, sorry, A to G. So in A major scale, A major has F, C, and G sharp. So if this were going to be a major interval, I would need this to be G sharp. But I need diminished. So A to G sharp, this is a long one, so I might need to write some of this down. So A to G sharp would be major. So A to G natural would be minor because I'm making it one smaller. And then to make it smaller again, A to G flat is diminished. So I need a G flat there. And then when I flip it, I'm going to have my G flat on the bottom. And the top becomes a second, so 2 plus 9 is, or 2 plus 7 is 9, so I can double check that. And this should turn out to be augmented because diminished and augmented revert. Uh, switch around with each other. So B flat to A. In B flat major scale, I usually have B flat, E flat. So C would normally be natural. So this is a major second. Oh, wait a minute here. Something doesn't work out. Diminished doesn't go with major. Diminished should be augmented. So, oh, this is not, I'm thinking the bass clef here. We need this to be um, 
treble clef. So this is actually a G flat to an A. So there I caught my own mistake um, because I found out that diminished to major it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be augmented there, so I must have done something wrong, and I did. I thought about the wrong clef. So if we think of this in treble clef, this is A, this is G flat, so G flat major. Now if G flat major is difficult to work with, you can think of G major, and you know that G major only has an F sharp. So G to A would normally be major, so G flat, a flat on the bottom note will make it bigger, so now this becomes augmented. And now my answer is correct. Now sometimes you need to write the intervals below the note. So this is a little trickier because you kind of have to work backwards a little bit. So minor seventh. So first thing you do is put your note down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Minor seventh. So now G to F. We think about G major scale. G major scale has F sharp. So if this were F sharp, G to F sharp, that would be a major seventh. So G to F natural is a minor seventh, and that's what we need. So we just leave it at G. Now if we want to do the inversion right away, while we're thinking of the key signature and everything, then we put our F on the bottom, our G goes on the top, we have a second. Now minor should become major, so F to G. In F major scale, there's only a B flat, so F to G is major.